Yeah, who's this? Raymond Wolf, the reporter. Whoa, like the Raymond Wolf, the, the the guy who cracked the military's real involvement with the Empire City catastrophe? Good, you've heard of me. That'll make this easier. I need your help. Get to Sundial Park and I'll tell you more about it. All right, man, I'm here. Uh, so what do you need? My editor has been captured by the DUP. Yeah. He's being questioned as we speak. I'm still looking into where he's being held, but in the meantime, I need you to pick up my most recent story. The DUP are looking for it, and I don't want it falling into their hands. Sure, man. Uh, how, how do I find it? The markers of the drop site are a series of fish stickers I place to point the direction. Just follow the fish stickers. Cole's Gift, Short-Lived or Just Beginning, by Raymond Wolfe. It's common knowledge that when Cole McGrath died, he not only cured the plague that was sweeping but took every conduit with him to his grave. What we didn't know was that this would be temporary. Within a year, rumors emerged of the return of Some believe that the plague had survived and mutated, this time creating conduits rather than killing normals. Some believe that not all the conduits were actually killed, that a few remained and were somehow able to spread their abilities. I've personally looked into both of these urban legends and have yet to find proof of either of them, which is why I'm here in Seattle. 
I believe the DUP know more than they're letting on. Wow, that was informative. That's why I'm here. There's more to the story, and I think Augustine and the DUP have the key. I'm going to need your help to figure it out. I'll be in touch. Uh, thanks, or yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Thank <laughs> you.